Welcome to the Unfitness Channel Halloween edition. Hello and welcome back to the Unfitness Channel. My name's Medium B and to the right we've got Large T. We're going to do some uh, emails. Halloween emails? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Um, first one of the day uh, is an email from a Mr. Jeff Strong from Burnley. Hi, Hello, Jeff. Jeff. Um, he goes on to say that, is it wrong that when he takes his kids out trick-or-treating, uh, that unbeknown to them, whilst they're doing their trick-or-treating, he holds onto the bag and secretly scoffs all their sweets? They start off, apparently, <laughs> with a carrier bag full, but he says by the time he's finished scoffing them, they can barely fill a crisp packet with, <laughs> with what they've got left. <laughs> so, 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 essentially, so essentially you're saying he's, he's, taking, he's taking the kids... He's taking them out of trick or treating, treating yeah, yeah. Going, come on, be generous, it's the kids. Put, yeah, you know, that's right. And why he's holding the carrier he's, bag? He's, so he's obviously holding the carrier bag. Himself. He's helping himself. They come the end of the night. Got, when they look at the, candy left when they look the sharing all out, they've got barely a crisp bag full. So, um, no, I think it sounds pretty fair to me. Yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he feels guilty about it, does he? Yeah, we should I, be like that, we should I, be like that, should we? I wouldn't, Jeff, I wouldn't feel guilty at all, no, mate. No, no, no. I no. mean, what you've got to understand is these kids, everyone says, oh, they're lovely and all that. They're little leeches at the end <laughs> of the day, aren't they, right? All through the year, you're providing for them, putting food on the table, clothes, buying toys for them and whatever. And the one time of the year when they can actually help give something back and right, that yeah. and get a bit of candy that's it you're quite I mean you're right it'd be, yeah. be rude not to it, yeah, rude, rude, rude not, not to. to and just yeah. tell yourself that you're stopping them having trips to the dentist and all that and yeah. stopping that you know, you know right, yeah. you're giving them a sensible amount of chocolate isn't you? yeah, yeah. so yeah. uh no I don't feel, feel guilty, guilty mate that. no no uh, no I don't feel guilty about that at all mate that answers that one for you Jeff okay we go on we've got uh, an email from uh, Mr Alan O'Kane of uh, Cheshire hello Alan hi Alan he asks, is it okay to eat pumpkins? Because he's worried that they may be too healthy. He thinks that if he starts with pumpkins, then it may lead to other vegetables, which at the end of the day are obviously far too healthy. And uh, he's worried that he'll end up being too healthy. Uh, and as he's aspiring to uh, become like ourselves on the Young Fitness Channel, he's very, very worried. And he's right to be yeah, very clever. Yeah. Some clever people here, isn't yeah, he? Right. What he's saying is, you start off with these pumpkins, then you end up on a slippery slope, having normal vegetables, yeah. and then before you know it, you're down the gym and you, yeah. you, you've lost an effect as well. Alan, right? don't, don't worry about it, mate. Don't I mean, worry about pumpkin it. Pumpkin pie, look at all the pastry that you need to make a pumpkin pie. You know what I mean? Anything, I mean, anything, you, you can sort of put your mind to it and you can add... You know, you can have uh, sugar, cream, cream, additives. Thick creams. That's right, yeah. Custard. So I wouldn't like worry about custard. it, mate. You know, I wouldn't wor worry no, about no, no, no. Worrying about over nothing, basically. And, and these, these are just a market employee. I mean, are you going to have this any other time of the year? No. Too right. right. No, no, basically, yeah. some guy, years ago, probably had a shop full of these and he yeah. couldn't sell them. And then one day, Halloween popped up and he went, oh, uh... You're not up on this Halloween then, are you? Well, yeah, you know, we do trick-or-treat and dress the kids up and that, but have you got your pumpkin? It's all part of the Halloween tradition. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, you cut eyes, put a candle in That's there, it. pumpkin pie. Carving, yeah. and, and marketing wizard. That's right, yeah. That's why, marketing wizard. It's the only way you, you get You only ever see them. pumpkins Halloween, don't you? You know what I mean? I bet you if the guy could, he'd have, he'd have them on Christmas trees if he could. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably catch on as well. yeah. So, so that's 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 that one, Alan. Yeah, okay, there you go, there, Alan. Okay. Um, we've got a final one here, and uh, it's from um, Mary Bendover. Mary Bendover. Bendover. Mary ben oh, sorry. It's uh, Mary Bent from Dover. Do apologise, Mary. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, sorry, Mary. Um, she wants to know what are our favourite Halloween jokes. Halloween jokes. Halloween jokes. You know any Halloween jokes? Uh, What's that going to do with anything? Why, why, why was the skeleton not good in battle? Why? Because he didn't have the guts for it. Ah. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> what, what, what do you call a fat pumpkin? 
Oh, don't Lumpkin. Need oh, we go on? Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Mary, um, I've got some jokes, right, but they're not sort of like um, appropriate for this particular part of the show. If you want me to email them you privately, I'm happy to do that, you know. I don't know if there's any Halloween connotation there, but, you know. Um, that reminds me, um, did you have an experience or, or something uh, that was a bit like um, halloween -y a few years back when you were driving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that was quite awful, that. I mean... Um yeah, yeah, I mean, I can, I can tell it. It's not, not a joke, obviously. But years ago, I used to work away from home and I used to have to travel for three or four hours, going up to my place of work and then staying in hotels, staying there a few nights and then coming back to where I live. And I remember one occasion I was driving and it was getting late at night and that was coming back. I left it a bit late and I was getting tired and I was, I was worried I was going to fall asleep behind the, behind the car. So I thought I'd pick up a hitchhiker, if I've got a hitchhiker, yeah, yeah. someone to talk to, keep me awake, keep me focused, I'll be all right. Nice bird, was it? No, 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 yeah. no women, obviously, is it like, you know. Anyway, I ended up, there was some guy in the road, mm -hmm. and that, right? So, you know, and it was still a bit light at yeah. the time. Dusk. Yeah, dusk. So I pulls over into the slow lane and I pick this hitchhiker up and he comes in the car and he has this big sports bag and he puts it on his lap and that. So anyway, I indicates off and I start driving down the motorway. And you know when you get this niggly feeling inside you? And I thought to myself, something don't feel right. So I Ooh. says to him, yeah, I thought, you know, something don't feel right. So I says to him, what's, what's in the bag, mate? Because he's clutching his big sports bag. Yeah. And he, he looks at me and he goes, it's got fuck all to do with you. Right. Well, yeah, so my heart's well, going. I'm not. I'm not worried about sleeping now. My heart's going. So I'm travelling down and all that. Right, not knowing what to do and that. Right, five minutes goes past and that. Right, and he's there with his bag and that. Like big bloody thing it is and that. Right on his lap. And suddenly I says to him, "Look, I says I'm not being funny, mate. I was just being friendly. What's in the bag?" And he looks at me and he says, "I told you, it's got fuck all to do with you." He says, yeah. "Right." So anyway, I gets a bit further down the road and that, right? And my heart's going now, but I'm thinking I've got to do something. So I says to him, look, I'm asking you one last time, mate, what's in the bag? And he says, it's got fuck all to do with you. So I pulls over into the side of the lane, right? Says, that's it. Get out of my car. I want you out of the car, right? Yeah, Next bye. minute, he's out of the car and that. He gets oh, out of the car, slams the door, slams the door. I drives off. I'm down the motorway. I looks on the passenger seat of my car, and he's only gone and left the bag. You're joking. He's only gone and left the bag on my passenger seat. What was in the bag? Got fuck all to do with you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fell for that one. <laughs>